In Lord of the Rings, we are introduced to the Ring of Power. This ring that is the master ring to control all other rings. And this ring, of course, is associated uh, with sin. But one of the things that's not often seen about this Ring of Power, but it is clearly evidenced in uh, Tolkien's work, is this idea that evil is addictive. And thus, the person that takes the ring, it is not only changing them, and that's what sin does, is it changes us and takes us places we never thought we would go, turning us from a hobbit like Smeagol into a hideous creature called Gollum. But it has an addictive power to it where you cannot be away from the precious. But there's only one thing that can break that power, and of course we know that is the uh, person and work of Jesus Christ, the one and only triune God. The course, the philosophy and theology of C.S. Lewis and J.R.R. Tolkien, it came about because of the incredible impact that we're able to make using the power of imagination. And Tolkien and C.S. Lewis, their work are examples of what we might call imaginative apologetics. And therefore, I want to introduce our students to the value of imaginative apologetics, its use in, in communicating divine truths, defending the faith, to be able to uh, bridge the culture gap, uh, reaching people uh, for Jesus Christ. And therefore, we will go through uh, this course, uh, parsing out the philosophy and theology and hopefully be able to do it in a way that will inspire some of these students to uh, be able to use the gift of imagination that God has given them and be able to, to use it in creative ways. And who knows, one person can change the lives of many.